This is an Ellis Mowers and More small engine repair. Stay connected on Instagram and Facebook at Ellis Mowers and More. Comments or questions? Leave them below or email me, ellis at ellismowers.com. Parts used in today's repair are found using the links in the description below. And as always, like and subscribe for more small engine content. On today's video, we're going to be looking at this old school Hyvac snapper. You don't really see a lot of these around anymore, do you? Uh, this one kind of shares the same engine that the previous push mower that I did, that old MTD early 90s model. It's got the Tecumseh engine on it. Uh, we're going to do the basically the same carburetor replacement on it. I'll show that to you in an express form. Uh, we'll get into this here in just a second, but just take a look at it. It's actually in fairly good condition for how old it is. My guess is that it is a, uh, an early 80s model, if I were to guess. I'll show you all the serial number, and um, some of y'all snapper aficionados could probably decipher the make and uh, model year for me. Um, but, uh, got the old school Tecumseh engine self-propelled unfortunately self-propelled does not work it has a broken belt and a couple of busted bearings on it it's one of those situations where you'd like to fix everything but then again it doesn't make sense to fix everything so in this video what we're going to do is get it running i'm going to give you all a look around it and everything uh, everything cosmetically is in surprisingly okay shape the bag is in fairly good shape the deck is that magnesium deck and so it's not going to rust out and there are no um, spots that uh, have been eaten away at because they do get eaten away at sometimes uh, but missing a couple of other things the mission here is just to get it running just to have a cool little running classic snapper mower here so i appreciate y'all tuning in let's go ahead and get started on the video and i'll show you around this old snapper high back See if I can show you the model. It's on the back here. It's a V212PS model. And oops, there we are. And then your serial number is 9209-55547. Fuqua Industries. Built by McDonough Power Equipment in McDonough, Georgia, and Fort Worth, Texas. How about that? So, it's got an old Tecumseh on it. And uh, the carb bowl was off of it. Like somebody had tried to fix it and just flat gave up at some point. Uh, a lot of mud dauber and dirt daubers and stuff that had gotten in the muffler. And there was no spark plug in it. So I put a spark plug in it. And uh, it seemed to want to try and kick over, but wouldn't fully kick over. I'm going to see if I can show that to y'all here. Now, it took a few pulls. I don't know if I've got a lot of issues going on with junk in the head, which is very possible. I think I'm going to pull the head off of it and see if, that, uh, see if we can clean it up, see if that makes any difference in terms of it working but hopefully what i've already done is taken the intake bolts off here and i sprayed some carb spray down the intake here now what i am going to do now is so i think we've got it kind of throttled up i'm not sure throttle is a little I don't know if it's stuck or what, if it's stuck right here or stuck somewhere else. But, let me see if I can pull it a few times. I can see it coming out the intake a little bit, so I don't know if I've got... There you go, see it? So it's trying to kick off. That's more than it did yesterday. yesterday. So that's enough to warrant me to try and fix this. Like I said, I've got a carb kit. We're going to see if it'll try and run for us. Um, and 
So what I'll do next is just go ahead and start taking off the shroud and the gas tank and the head. We'll get inside the head and see if we can uh, clean it up and make it work well again. All right, guys, I'm just going to go to town here on this. What? Just keep an eye on how these throttles and everything are together here. I think I messed it up on that MTD that I had. But uh, take the air filter off. What I'll do, just to expedite the process, is I'll put y'all on time lapse so that y'all can see uh, everything come off, including the head. So, and that ignition coil actually had dirt in it, so I'm kind of surprised that it still even works. Y'all can see it's about what I thought it was here with uh, a bunch of oil and stuff caked up on the head. I don't know if it's burning a bunch of oil or if it's just caked up from over time. I'm not like I said, I'm not completely sure yet. Um, just turning it though, there's a bunch of junk and stuff around the valves, so I'm sure that they're not seating correctly or fully seating correctly with all the junk around them so what I'm gonna do is just clean all this stuff off to start I don't know if that's you know if I need to wire brush them a little bit too but we'll get all this stuff off of the inside and the outside of the head here need to pull the plug off of the head as well just to get everything a little bit cleaner here get all this junk out of the way too so i'm going to work on that i'll clean the head up show you all how clean it gets and then we'll go ahead and put everything back together hopefully when we put everything back together uh, it will run. One thing I also went ahead and did because I'm going to be saving this recoil regardless is put a new pull rope in it. So, because the other one was about to fall off anyways. So, we got that going for us. And uh, I'll put the new carb on as well here at, coming up next after I get all this stuff cleaned up. All right, I've gotten it cleaned a lot better than it was at least. Uh, I don't know for sure how well this is going to be, but we'll try it out. So, uh, let's see. I'll just need to clean that oil off of the corners there a little bit better. But, uh, shouldn't be completely caked in oil like it was earlier. So I guess I'll go ahead and start putting everything back on. I do notice that the, it does seem like whatever oil is coming up in here may have a little bit of dirt in it. So I know an oil change is gonna be greatly needed soon. Um, the oil's dark, it's not gray, so I don't think it's, like done done but um this machine's probably going to smoke quite a bit so uh if we can get it running again but uh hopefully it will now that we've cleared out most a lot of the debris and stuff that was in here um i'm gonna put the head and everything back on i'm gonna put the head back on first and the shroud and the pull rope, which is, y'all already saw me disassemble that. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put all that back together and get it down on the ground and see if it will actually run off of carb spray a little bit better. All right, so I put the shroud and everything back on. I'm just curious to see if it'll run on starting fluid now or carb spray here. A little bit better. That'll be clean the head up. carb spray, I guess, sitting around. I don't know, y'all. feel like it wants to, but it just won't. Here, kick off a little bit more than that, but I just don't know if it will or not. Whew. All right, let me do this one more time, just a quick, quick spritz there. Hey, there we go. sounds much much better <laughs> just had to free up some stuff one more time here that's much better all right feel confident about putting a carburetor on this now so i'm going to go ahead and start that process of getting one which i already have here but putting it on the machine i think this throttle stuck unfortunately so I'll have to, uh, I'll probably figure out a situation where it just stays at one speed and then throw a toggle switch on it like I've done to a lot of other machines. Uh, so let me go ahead and venture with that and uh, see what we can manage here. All right, so this carburetor just went right on there. Don't forget to put your gaskets in between your intake pipe and your carburetor and then your carburetor and your air filter assembly. Thought I may toy around with trying other assemblies here, but because um, I don't have the top for this, unfortunately. Just be really cool to see if this runs. The only difference is that the fuel line now is going to have to come in from the back. I did this on the MTD push mower in a previous video. So the fuel line is going to run a little bit longer, but it should still work uh, just fine. So I'm going to go ahead, since I've already shown how to put it on another machine, I'm going to Go ahead and just put it on there, give you all a final look, and hopefully get this thing running here pretty shortly. All right, we have uh, put everything back together, put gas in it. I'm about to take it outside and crank it up. Hopefully crank it up and start it up and run it. So this is the throttle setup. If you can see it right there, the little spring goes underneath the, the uh, arm that goes to the actual uh, carburetor. So we've got that going. I don't have the kill wire set up because this throttle cable is stuck in the open position. So carb is on, linkages are all put up for the throttle, and we've got gas in it. So let me take it outside, see if we can start it up. This, I bet this thing's going to be a smoke show if it cranks, though. I'm going to first try it without any sort of aid from starter fluid or anything. So I'm going to prime it quite a few times. I did put a little bit of motor treatment on the very bottom of the tank before I put the gas in it. And uh, we've got the uh, pliers at the ready just in case this thing takes off and 
wants to fly away. I can see it pumping gas, that's good. It wants to. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's open it. Let's open it up a little bit. To. Uh oh. Oh man. Come on now. So close. Well, she is running. It ain't the, it, it didn't smoke up as bad as I thought. But ma'am, doesn't really sound the best either, unfortunately. Uh, what I am going to do, I might throw a little bit of 20W50 in it or something like that. Hopefully, help it a little bit. Uh, but, <laughs> whew, how about that? Let's see if it'll crank back. <laughs> change the oil in it and get this thing an oil change we may look at it underneath while I'm, while I'm there and uh, wow I tell you what I didn't know if that thing would run but uh, it does how about that whoo okay I will change the oil let it run a little while see if life gets any better for it but it is running and I'm kind of surprised where we started out but uh, the cell propel doesn't work. I'm probably not going to get into any of that because it's a few years ago I had one of these. Even with working self-propel, I only got $50 for it. So it's kind of like, 
<laughs> it's like, how much time and effort do I want to put into it? It was just fun. I just wanted to see this thing run again. And uh, it looks like it is. At the end of the day, I um, gave the mower a little bit of a wash. Again, with a lot of pitting and stuff because this is that magnesium deck. It's not a steel deck. Uh, it's got a lot of pitting and imperfections. This would be... I don't know if, if this would be a good candidate for restoration or not, truthfully. Um, it would have to have a lot. Really, the money is in the bag on this. Uh, if you need a bag, this bag's in pretty good shape. Again, the engine runs, the self-propelled needs bearings and all of that. It would be fun to restore, but I'd probably have a couple hundred dollars in this, and you're never going to get your money back out of it. That's the business I'm in. I don't really have any sentimental attachment to this thing. Otherwise, I'd maybe would try to get it back going uh get everything right on it again i'm sure it wouldn't take too much but then again parts availability there's not a lot of these around here anymore so couple of small tears in the corners apart from pitting and stuff the deck is not eaten out anywhere sometimes they will get eaten out in high um, grass traffic areas so to speak and toggle switch works the throttle cable doesn't it's just a fixed throttle but again it works I want to show you all underneath here I'm kind of surprised it works actually with how bad it looked when it first got it in here. This is a cool little setup with the high vac here. And the leaves that I pulled out of it were chopped to shreds. So this thing right here, if you're looking to bag with it, would be one heck of a machine to bag up grass clippings with uh, or leaves with. Uh, if people know these things, they know that these things will eat grass and leaves alive so somebody will appreciate this i just thought it was kind of cool to get it back going again obviously ideally you would need you would want an air filter cover and the self-propelled to work and all that stuff i'm not going to get into that because i only have a couple hours in this machine it's never going to be worth what i would put into it uh time-wise and labor-wise to get my money back out of it. I have no money in this except for like a $15 carburetor. It'll fetch $50 and it was just a fun thing to do in the morning. So uh, hope y'all enjoyed it and we will go ahead and finish this video up next. All right guys, that's everything on this snapper uh, high back push mower. Like I said, you don't see a lot of these around here anymore. Uh, this is a fairly good example if you want a running, working example. Again, it needs a lot more work, a ton of more work that I'm just not going to put the time and the effort into it because it needs bearings that are probably seized up that I'd be basically impossible to get off. Um, and an air filter cover, which alone is probably almost worth the value of the machine. Uh, and, you know, just a few other odds and ends. Then you turn it wheels, front wheels, rear wheels would need painted, the deck would need to be painted to make a full-on restoration that, honestly, not really a lot of people care about anymore. I'd find, a hard, I'd find it really, really hard to sell it for a lot of money uh, as if I, you know, put a lot of money in it. That's why I'm not doing it. Let me know what y'all would do. Let me know if you've seen these things or how long it's been since you've seen them. I'm guessing somebody can probably decipher the um, sticker. My guess is that these were, this is an early 80s model or something along those lines. I may be 
a little bit off or maybe a little bit newer but I think just by what I've seen with snapper I think that's what this is the bag itself is probably worth what I'm gonna ask for the mower to get rid of it and so somebody will look at this and appreciate it and uh, probably buy it from me. it kind of reminds me of that two cycle Toro the with the Suzuki two cycle engine uh, I took that up to my in-laws in uh, Shenandoah Valley, Virginia, and somebody bought it off of me. Found me on Marketplace a few weeks before. I said, if I don't sell it in a few weeks, I'll bring it up to you. And uh, so we may have an instance where somebody may travel far for this one as well. You just don't ever know. But either way, it's a good running example, and it was a good, fun thing to do for uh, a morning where I'm fairly caught up on repairs around here. I have a good riding mower stash, and so I just wanted to break into one of my push mowers and this is a really unique one here thanks again for watching thanks again for the support as always on the channel and feel free to like and subscribe if you like this content we've got a lot more machines coming up as y'all probably have seen in my previous videos and i'll catch y'all on the next repair have a good one